DCC, ROG, match made in heaven at a pole tree. Ooh. They don't call me Ultimate Beastmaster for nothing. Have you guys seen that on Netflix? It's really good. Really, uh, it's pretty epic. In today's video, we'll be continuing the lower left side of the bracket. We're gonna take on Andreas vs. Renata. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. They had to create an eSports logo inspired by the award for this tournament, which is the Zephyrus G14 Gaming Laptop. Are we ready to watch Andreas Fungi Magnavicious take on Renata Ingrata Porto? I don't know, are we? Yes, we are. Okay, let's start worming our way into Andreas' design brain and see his process. All right, another chicken starting inside Illustrator. Andreas has uh, the right side of his screen is kind of interesting. He has the fill and the stroke over there. I think that was the change that Adobe made in like 2019 or 2020 or something where the right sidebar would adjust based on like what objects you were clicking on. So it wasn't just a static bar anymore. I always change my settings to painting because I like having the colors readily available, but uh, maybe this is better. I don't know. I didn't really use it that much. Ooh, okay. It looks like Andreas is also going for, I mean, like a like a god kind of a thing like a the the greek god zephyrus it looks like kind of an old man with long hair and a beard hey 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 shout out to my future self <laughs> no no shout out to anyone who has anyone who has long hair and a beard in the comment section you are loved also if you don't have long hair and if you don't have a beard you're also pretty lit okay not greek god but <laughs> no no i'm joking <laughs> You're excellent. It's a very pointy nose. I like this. Pointy nose gang. Where are we at? My nose isn't that pointy, so I'm claiming acceptance in the group, but uh, without earning it. Nice. The colors uh, Andreas has chosen here are, are work pretty well. It feels like it's windy, I guess. And, um,. The bright turquoise against the navy blue stands out very well. His curves are excellently done. You know, when you make a lot of curves in Illustrator, especially like ones that go a full loop, you can kind of mess that up a lot of times. But you saw in the beginning, he started with a grid and then used the, the blue points and pulled stuff in to make a perfect curve. It's a good technique. He, he added a shadow around, uh, a shield around it. We'll have to see how many of our participants make shields. Shields are kind of a classic esports thing. Stemming from what? S regular sports. Regular sports must have started the whole shield thing. But that must have come from like medieval ha houses, logos. Not houses as in like a place where you live, like a house, like a family group or something. Um, yeah. Wow. There's a lot of history in this. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. That's one of the hardest things to get right. You make a circle or a curve, and then you make, you type on a path in Illustrator so that you can make your font curve the same. But it almost always requires a hefty amount of fan dangling to make it look correct. Illustrators like, because I don't know, it depends on the spacing, it depends on the amount of kerning be between the letters, and also Illustrator has these weird settings where you can have it above the line, below the line, or kind of like a little bit below the line, but not really. I don't know why that one's there, but um, it's there for the taking, it's there for the liking. Oh, he put the year in the top left and right, 2020. That's pretty cool. I think that'll be like an established date. That's a cool idea. If they're around for a long time. All right. Why is Andreas's nickname Fungi? I was going to write it like F-U-N space G-U-I, like fun guy, <laughs> which I think would be another level of, uh, of meta here, but it's not quite uh 
I don't know. Anyways, it's not quite related as closely to his, uh, the reason why he got that nickname. The reason why he got that nickname was because he loves mushrooms. And as those who are more scientifically inclined among you might know, mushrooms are a type of fungus. What's the plural of fungus? Fungi. <laughs> so that's why he's called uh, Andreas Fungi Magnavicious. I think it's a good name. Oh, look at this lit mock-up. There's so much movement in it. Guys, are you guys seeing the icons he has for Illustrator and Photoshop? They're like solid. When he when he tabs between them, you can see it for a second. They're like solidly filled in. That's do you, is that something I can have available to me also? I want to be in the group. So he started off with a big word Zephyrus. Then he probably thought that it took too much attention away. So then he, he kind of toned it down a little bit and then brought the logo back into the middle. This is pretty cool. You know, when it comes to like regular sport jerseys, when you think of the logo, it's almost always intertwined with the colors of the jersey. So it's nice he th thought about this. Okay, I did some research into existing esports logos and I noticed that a majority of them seem to utilize the same illustration style. So I wanted Team Zephyrus's logo to stand out by being visually less complex. Bold tactic. The focal point of the emblem is a simple line illustration of Zephyrus, God of West Wind, which gradually guides the viewer from the top of the emblem that features the year the team was formed to the bottom by using white lines that represent the wind. Oh, that's interesting. The simplicity of the emblem allows it to be flexible and elements of the illustration to be reused throughout different mediums. Let's see what your opponent had to make. Renata and Grata had to make. This is Renata's work. Looks like she's starting on the iPad. Nice. And it uh, looks like she's in Procreate. Very cool. Um, her sketch was made with pencil. Very excellent sketch. The uh, the Greek god feels very godlike. All the movement of the hair is fantastic. Ooh, she's adding some stars. Okay, let me know in the comments if you guys know what kind of a bird that is. It looks like the thing that Harry Potter Harry Potter has to catch in. Um, What's the name of that book series? Harry Potter. He has to catch when he's playing Quidditch. Uh, what's that called? Anyways, it kind of looks like that. It's very cool. Um, so, it seems like this is kind of a multi-step process. She drew it out in paper. Then she went over the lines in on the iPad and kind of figured out what she, oh, she wanted, like width-wise, and kind of figured out what was behind and in front. And then she brought it to Illustrator, and um, she went over all the lines with the pen tool. And now she's filling in with some uh, shading already. This is very cool. She's starting with a yellow. I wonder if she'll keep with it. Um, Renata's nickname is Ingrata. <laughs> Everybody sent me like one interesting fact about themselves because I asked for one interesting fact. <laughs> Renata sent me like eight interesting facts about herself. <laughs> so it's a little hard to choose, but um, she said there's a song that goes like Renata Ingrata. I actually Googled it <laughs> to listen to it. You should Google it. It's kind of cool. I don't. I have no idea what, what any of it uh, means because I don't speak Portuguese, but um, Sounds pretty cool. Um, so anyway, she said ingrata means ungrateful. <laughs> so she's Renata ungrateful. <laughs> you know why she's ungrateful? Because her design skills are already so amazing. But um, no, I'm sure she's a very grateful, humble person. Okay, these clouds, smoke clouds look so cool to me. They look like they're from that movie, Hercules, uh, the the uh, Disney animation. Is that Disney? Am I even allowed to say Disney without them stealing stealing the video as copyright? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. She's cleaning up the weaves, the wings. I was 
I was caught between saying leaves or wings. Just cleaning up the wings of the bird. Oh, that's so cool. Look at, look at the end lines on the wings, how they get to that sharp point and then come down like that. That's very well done. Ooh, okay. I like this black she's introducing. Ooh, this is nice. So she did not keep with the yellow. A lot of people have done kind of a, like a bright turquoise like this. I think, I think there's a reason why they all do it and it's because it seems like it's pretty fitting. This beard is so epic. The amount of detail she's giving to the highlight shadows and then extra lines really brings it to life very well. Okay, now she's working with the font. Ooh, she's making it, uh, she's adjusting it like customly. I feel like there should be an effect that would give you that warp um, just automatically, but um, this is so cool. Sorry, I'm just kind of caught up watching. She, she's adding even more highlights to the beard now, bring it to life even more. Ooh, the bird. It's the bird's turn to get highlights. Okay, she added um, a black outline that was pretty thick to the whole thing. Kind of bring it together, make it feel a little bit like, a, like an emblem more with the icon and the typography connected to each other. Wow, okay, this is the fastest screen recording I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Don't get dizzy, guys. Don't get dizzy. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay, so what do we know about what's happening? A lot of small details that I'm sure are going to culminate. And oh, oh, she added a shield behind. Nice. Okay, that really brings the idea together for the uh, eSports emblem kind of a thing. Imagine she put the beard on top of Zephyrus, but then you wouldn't be able to read Zephyrus. Okay, I have to say this design is spectacular. <laughs> Zephyrus is the god of west winds, commonly associated with elements of the air and its powerful breath, just like Avatar Aang. To refer to classical representations of Greek gods, I was inspired by statues from ancient Greece to make the shape of the head and the laurel wreath. It does look like a statue. That's very cool. The art style and type treatment were inspired by emblems of esports teams, and the colors were chosen to bring a strong and mystical vibe that will stand out from the crowd. It's funny, she and Andreas both said that what they did would help it stand out from the crowd. Andreas said his simplicity would help it stand out, and uh, Renata said her mystical vibe would help it stand out. So, it is now up to you. Which one succeeded in making it stand out from the crowd? Which one do you think is more appropriate for Team Zephyrus Esports Gaming logo? Thank you, vote now, guys. And as always, if you missed the last episode, YouTube stole candy from a baby. They stole the poll. So I can't do polls in my videos anymore. So to vote on this episode, go to the Asus ROG Instagram page, link below, and then click on their story. It's only there for 24 hours, so get hopping, my friends. All right, guys, don't forget to smooch like to help YouTube show this video some love and get some more recognition for our fantastic, absolutely amazing designers we have in the final eight of this tournament. Stay tuned for tomorrow, the next quarterfinal. Stay awesome possum, and I'll see you later, Swamp Dragon. Bye guys.